Hey guys, before we get this video started, I just wanna let you know that I am gonna be doing a $1.25 million shark card giveaway for some of the bonuses, discounts, and sales that are going on this week and online. Even though Rockstar didn't add a, a new item, a new car, a new vehicle, or anything, I still wanna do a weekly shark card giveaway. I'll be announcing the winner on Friday, and that giveaway is happening on my Twitter account. So I'll leave all the details in the description. Enter that, and you could be walking away $1.25 million richer. Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's GTA 5 video, we're going to be talking about a massive ban wave that looks to be going on right now in Grand Theft Auto Online. So when I'm making this video, it's Tuesday afternoon, March 13th, 2018, and a lot of you guys have been tweeting at me and referencing that there's been a huge ban wave happening in online. So I first started noticing this when I got this tweet the other day. This is from someone who follows me. He said, hey Ross, are we having the craziest ban wave going on right now in GTA Online? Me and a lot of my friends were banned, which is absolutely false positive, your comment. So what do I think of a false positive ban happening to you and a lot of your friends? I can definitely see it being a possibility. Now, when I saw that user tweet at me, I wanted to make sure that he was not the only one. And so what I did was I went on the Rockstar Games like support page and went to the community tab for Grand Theft Auto Online. And this is when you can really tell if a, a pretty big ban wave is going on. And these are just the messages that we're seeing over the last 24 hours and over the weekend, roughly. So how crazy is this? There are a ton of people reporting that their accounts have been banned, they have been wrongly suspended, they were banned and they don't know why. Now, I'm sure some of these banned posts right here were legitimate reasons, like these people were modding or hacking or doing whatever, but I'm sure there were some people that I, you could say were innocent that maybe don't deserve to be banned here. Now, I think this sort of behavior is typical from Rockstar right before we are about to have a new update. They always sort of like crank up their anti-cheater software or whatever sort of algorithm they decide to use in order to determine if indeed they should be banning people. And especially with all the modders and hackers that have been going on on PC, this really isn't surprising. Now, I'd say the reason that Rockstar always sort of crank up their anti-cheater stuff right before a big deal or just any update in general is they don't want people with modded accounts or potentially huge sums of money infiltrating the Grand Theft Auto Online ecosystem when a bunch of other normal players are going to be getting on. So if you haven't checked on your account in a couple of days or maybe even a couple of weeks, you might want to because let's say, for example, you did get false banned. Well, you want to obviously take that up with Rockstar and that process isn't going to be instant. You're gonna to have to work with them, file a support ticket. You might even have to call their phone number or something like that. Believe it or not, Rockstar actually do have a phone number that you can call. So even if you have done nothing wrong and you received one of these false bans, you don't wanna to wait till the last minute. Like, let's say you find out the update is coming out on the 20th, let's just say. And the first time you log in is on the 19th, you're gonna be in trouble because your account's gonna be banned and there's almost no way Rockstar's gonna be able to fix that in less than 24 hours. So I stated this in a video I did a couple days ago, but since we're right before the next update, you just really wanna be careful in online. Like, you don't wanna do anything that would put you on Rockstar's radar, or put you on high alert with them, because I don't wanna see any of you guys get banned, especially right before a DLC when a bunch of new content is going to be added. Now, the last thing I wanna to touch on, this is actually something I saw on the GTA Online Reddit. Apparently on PC, this is something players can do, which to me is really, really suspicious. So modders and hackers can actually change the social club alert message to say some pretty bad things to your characters. So this is something that someone got. So their message was social club warning. You have been banned from social club and its services for using modifications. Now that message looks really official. Like it came straight from Rockstar. Look at that right there. And then of course, luckily the modder or hacker who was doing this was nice enough to at least say it's just a prank bro by saying JK, you got pranked, LOL. So I think that is crazy that people can do that because that is like the social club logo and it has its own little special mail thing. So that is crazy that actually people can hack into that and they can sort of send their own customized messages to players saying that they've been banned. Now, 
people will probably use this to do way more malicious things. I'm sure people will try and scam people using this, potentially even blackmail. So if you see something like this, don't fall for it. This is not Rockstar. I don't even know if you're actually banned if you get the message you saw on top. I feel like that that actually isn't the case. But at the same rate, I had no idea that people could even do this. So just know that hackers, modders, and people that can change messages are going crazy right now uh, in online. And it seems that a ban wave has gone amongst with that. And this might be one of the reasons why too. But anyways, that's all the information that I've got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. Let me know what you think is going on right now in Grand Theft Auto Online. This ban wave stuff is pretty crazy. And I think it means that Rockstar is just trying to prep their online sort of environment and ecosystem to get ready for either a new update or a new DLC. So let me know your thoughts, opinions, more in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. We like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.